Cancer. Welcome, Cancer. We're going to do a general read for you. Um, <clears throat> interestingly enough, uh, this is a new deck. I just finished one read with it. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with it, so it would be interesting to see what, uh, what we can pick up with your predominant energies and how that read goes. Also, I'm still going with this concussion thingy, and sometimes my sentences aren't going to make sense. They might make sense to me, they may not make sense to you. That said, let's get started and see what's going on for you. <clears throat> Off the top, we have the Six of Wands. This is somebody that is sort of separating themselves from the crowd. In your desires, your desires is the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant, typically to me, uh, is somebody that has a lot of knowledge. Uh, and it sometimes can be a marriage card for me out of one of the other uh, decks. So we'll clarify this one and see what's going on. <clears throat> and then we have the High Priestess that shows up. This High Priestess is in the outcome. So somebody that has a lot to do with their intuition. Somebody's using their internal powers and figuring out what they should do. What's working for you is the Ten of Swords. So something that might have ended. And what you need to be aware of is the Three of Wands. Uh, finding your own destination. Or you can finally see where you want to go. But maybe you're not just sh quite sure on how to get there. Now let's go through and start to clarify. The sixth of wands is clarified by judgment, the two of swords, and the queen of swords. It seems that there could be things coming back from the past <clears throat> that are owed to you. But although you're taking action, you're just maybe not sure which direction to take, even though you're trying to figure out what to do. It seems like you're maybe kind of done with a lot of the... I want to say kind of just bullshit that's been going on. Um, at the same time, you're just not sure which direction to go to. Now, that's just in your current energies. <clears throat> or maybe that it's, although you've moved forward, there's things from the past, and you're just not sure what to do about it, to lay those things to rest, and you're having to get brutally clear on how that is. Now, stepping up into the Hierophant, We have the Queen of Cups that shows up. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And we have Justice. So maybe this is all tied into um, somebody that is really needing some advice uh, in your desires, that maybe you're needing some advice regarding uh, a divorce and how to get on with your life. <clears throat> this brings us up to the High Priestess and the outcome. Um, the High Priestess is your energy, and so is the Queen of Cups. So you're showing up very heavily in this. <clears throat> the other thing is, is if I look at this and I read this as there's possibly a marriage, um, and this has been an, uh, a balancing act between the two of you, that this is somebody that's possibly older than you, with the Queen of Cups showing up, but you're both off to a new start uh, within that guidance. Now, if we look at the High Priestess, this is you and your own energy, and this is the Nine of Wands, the Five of Swords, <clears throat> and it looks to be the Page of Pentacles. So, 
not everything's known, but you're standing within your own power in the outcome. It's been work to get here, and there's still a little bit work left to do. And that's also evident by the Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. Five of Swords to me is one of those things that is just left that, you know, there is still stuff that has to be done. It's not quite over. But you know, you know this with the Page of Pentacles here, you know this and you know what to do and you need to just take that action and make it happen. So this brings us over to what's working for you, which is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is that energy that something has either just completely fallen apart or you've also just come to the point where you're starting a new cycle. This is clarified by the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> This looks to be the um, the devil and the ten of cups. So maybe you're feeling trapped in this sort of energy that okay things are finally coming to an end or things have finally fallen apart. You're not sure what to do again. Indecision is showing up here. Um, and you're sort of stuck in that energy where somebody else is kind of pulling the strings. Um, it could be that you've been stuck in this energy for so long, you're just stuck and you're just not sure what to do. Um, but at the end of it, you kind of really seeing that this, this Ten of Cups which is kind of interesting <clears throat> that maybe you're headed, you know, all you all you can think about is how to get to this 10 of cups and you've stuck in it for so long that you really haven't taken some action towards it. Um, then we have the three of wands and that's clarified by the four of swords, the page of swords and the queen of pentacles, you know, be aware of what you want. You can see it, um, and that gives you some. It gives you some hope. It gives you some rest. It gives you some peace. But at the same time, we're looking to get answers to come in around that, and there are those answers coming with this Page of Wands here, and the Queen of Pentacles. You know, be aware of what you're worth as you're chasing this, as you're going forward to this Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> Be aware that you do have worth, um, that there is a queen inside you. Uh, keep in mind, um, it's an energy that we're talking of. Um, let's pull three more cards around this. Page of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. There could be an opportunity that comes in uh, or offer that somebody brings into you that really has some emotional meaning to you, but it could also delay you from starting to work on the things within yourself that you know are important and that are worthwhile to you. This brings me back to this Queen of Pentacles, where you need to be looking at that going, hey, you know, where is my worth? How do I define my worth? Is it defined by, you know, whatever that is for you? Cancer, that is what I have for you today. Uh, best of luck with this week. Uh, feel to like, share, subscribe, or dislike. Either where Either way, I'm happy that you were here. Thank you for bearing with me through this uh, use of this new deck, and we'll talk to you next time.